And the next thing we're going to do is make sure we have the latest version of the Houdini game dev tools installed. This is a very important step. So again, we're going to go over here to the plus sign, go to shelves, go to the open the game development toolkit. And you're going to see right here, this very first one is going to say update toolkit, or tool set, sorry. Go ahead and open that up. Here's all the versions we have, so we'll stick with 1.9. You can go the latest stable build or the latest development build. I'll keep with development and we'll say update the tools. It'll say game development tool set has been updated successfully and to go ahead and restart Houdini. I don't think I need to do that just because I already had the latest installed, but we'll do it just in case. And now that that's updated, we know we have the latest versions of whatever's up here on the shelf that we can utilize. And when we go into our network view and we start typing in what we want to use, we're going to have the latest game dev nodes that we can drop into our scene and start using. If you want to dig a little bit deeper into the tool set, you can go to GitHub to the side effects game development tool set section and you're going to see this is where everybody's working on what's going into the game development tool set and if you scroll down they're going to have instructions on how to install this getting the very latest builds example files stuff like that